Welcome to R&R. It's been a truly tremendous week here. The town has been buzzing with life, debate and societal engagement from thousands of people. Congratulations to the organizers behind this great success. That is R&R Suka. And welcome to the presentation of the second quarter financial results from R&R Fossil Company here on the rooftop of our headquarters in our beautiful hometown. Total operating revenues for the AFK group amounted to 1 billion and 62 million NOC in the second quarter, a 23% increase year over year. Consolidated earnings before tax were 86 million NOC. The operating profit was mainly driven by high electricity prices. Despite reduced production, AFK Hydropower delivered substantial revenue and operating profit. The average spot price in our price area was more than three times higher than in the same quarter last year. High electricity prices represents revenue and cash flow to be reinvested. Still, the industrial companies in our portfolio would benefit from lower energy prices. So, the current price spikes are a mixed blessing for us. Remember, Arnold's Foster Company was established in 1896 to provide power to major industrial plants. And this remains part of our DNA, to utilize renewable, affordable energy to power industrial plants, create jobs and create value. The AFK Group made three highly strategic acquisitions in the second quarter. We bought the wireless charging solution provider from Germany, IPT Technology. This led us to establish the Evolgy Group, which initially consists of our longtime portfolio company, EFD Induction, and now IPT Technology. Evolgy will be a specialist in both induction heating and induction charging. We also acquired the German energy storage specialist, Comeo. This led us to form the company Ampfel. With Comeo, Ampfel will build an ecosystem for battery technology and a battery as a service business model. Furthermore, our portfolio company Analytic acquired Factlines, a Norwegian company which offers digital solutions for securing responsible supply chains. All in all, this has been one of the busiest quarters for acquisitions in the history of Arnold's Foss Company. Accordingly, our operating profit was affected by transaction costs and short-term negative operating profit from our new acquisitions. In short, we are reinvesting substantial parts of our current strong cash flow into international technology companies with high growth prospects. This lays the foundation for long-term continued value creation in AFK. Finally, in accordance with our quarterly dividend policy, Arnold Foss is pleased to pay an ordinary cash dividend of 0.95 NOC per share for the second quarter of 2022. Thank you for your attention. And if you are a shareholder, a special thank you for the trust you put in our company. So again, greetings from Arendal and I will see you again soon.